everyone, my name is Lisa, and I thought I would give a floss tube channel a try. I just recently discovered floss tube uh, a few weeks ago, started watching Priscilla and Chelsea, and now I'm hooked. Also watch Country Stitchers, Java Girl, and Renee from Gabby Sews, just to name a few. And everyone's been so inspirational, I thought, hey, why not give it a shot? I am from Ontario, Canada, and uh, not sure how many Canadian floss tubers there are there. I've seen a couple, but not too many. So if you do have a, a floss tube channel from Canada, definitely let me know, because I'd love to check that out. Today is a civic holiday um, in Ontario, so I'm off work. We just got home, my son and I, from Clovermead Adventure Farms. Um, if you are from the Southwestern Ontario area, perhaps you've heard about it or been. It's a great place for kids his age. I'll put a link to their um, website as well um, at the bottom, just so you can check it out, because it is quite fun there. Yeah, so he is napping now. I know I'm counting down the days until he doesn't nap anymore, and but taking full advantage of it while he still is. He's starting JK uh, in September, so I think we'll probably lose all naps at that time. But um, yeah, definitely glad that he still takes a nap on uh, every now and again because he needs it. And so do I. Yes, yeah, so I've been cross stitching on and off since I was a kid. Um, probably stopped, you know, during high school. University took it up a, again um, after university. Um, you know, really quite enjoy it. So, um, since I discovered floss tube now, I've started a lot more work in progresses than I typically would have. Um, but uh, yeah, it's good. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, so I thought I would just start with doing some of my work in progresses. Not sure how often I'm going to post or what I'm going to talk about, but uh, just see what the feedback is. If people are watching, enjoying, have questions, I'd be happy to answer and continue. Yeah. So behind me you will see a completed Disney piece. Um, so Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto there. It is one of the kits that were available in the parks a number of years ago. I don't think you can get them anymore, which is too bad because that was actually a pretty easy kit to, to stitch up. I think I have one other one that I haven't started, um, yet, but, um, yeah, the fact that you can't get them anymore is kind of disappointing because it was a good souvenir to, to bring back for sure. So for work in progresses, I'll start with a couple of my bigger ones. Um, my thread's all tangled up here. Um, so this one is by, um, Linen and Threads. It's a stitch along. And you can follow the stitch along on their Facebook page. So I'm very, very far behind. Um, but I am using variegated floss for that. And, uh, it is... Threadworks, um, variegated thread of floss is what I'm using uh, for that. Another big one that I'm doing, I'm doing a Heaven and Earth design, Endurance. It's not a completely full coverage piece because there is all that white right here, um, but I thought it would be a good one for my first Heaven and Earth. Um, I am a runner, so I really like the running aspect of it, um, as well as the cute turtle. That's how far I've got on that. So not too far, it's about a page and three quarters. And uh, yeah. a lot of yellows, a lot of browns. Um, so I get very excited when there's a lot of green thread in there, a lot of confetti. So uh, slow going, but uh, have been enjoying doing it as well. Um, one of my work in progresses, <laughs> my little project bag is actually a snack bag that my friend Amy from Stitch the Dot made. Um, I'll put a link to her um, page as well because she makes some really cute stuff. This is for sandwiches, but also works well for my little tiny project. Um, so this is just a hen from the Cross Stitch um, Halloween magazine. So this magazine here. And that's the hen right there. I just took off all the other stuff and just decided just to stitch the hen. Um, it's in a little three inch frame. So I just have uh, the black to fill in there and then that one will be done. I'll 
also working on Farmhouse Christmas by Little House Needleworks. So that one there, Grandpa's pickup truck. And this is what I have so far on that. And that's on some tea dyed fabric I did. So is the, the chickens on some tea dyed fabric. And uh, the thread I'm using is the called for um, classic colorworks thread. The next one is Country Cottage Needleworks Beachy Keen. And for that, this is what I've got on this one so far. And again, using the DMC and classic. Color works. Called for threads on that one. A lot of the main ones that I'm doing right now. There are a couple more from the Halloween magazine um, that I do want to stitch up. Um, a couple bookmarks. So that one right there, which I will do on a navy piece that I have. And then that one here on kind of an oatmeal piece that actually I did do some coffee staining as well I decided just to uh, or tea stain I should say um, I tea stained some fabric and some scraps I had and then this is the chicken that I'm doing but I'm just doing the chicken and took out the orange pumpkin as well um, so the tea dyeing I had the inspiration from uh, Priscilla and Chelsea to do. I don't drink coffee, so we didn't have any coffee. Um, so I just did the tea dye. I didn't bake it only because that kind of scared me putting it in the oven. So I just let it uh, dry naturally. And so far, I really like the effect that I got. There's not a lot of um, the modeling in it, but um, I do still like the effect that I got from it. Yeah, so that is what I have uh, for work in progresses. So as I said, I don't know how often I'm going to post, um, but love to kind of keep you updated on my work in progresses. If there are any questions about anything I'm working on, um, definitely feel free to ask. Uh, as I said, if there are any other Canadian floss tubers out there, I'd love to check you out for sure. And um, yeah, we'll see. Where this takes us so if you are in ontario have a great rest of your long weekend and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon thanks